Hi, welcome to the unit called Radicals and Rational Exponents. This is lesson two on adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing with radicals. So we're going to have these square root symbols, okay? Now let's look at just simplifying a square root for a second. What if you're given the square root of 20? Well, you can evaluate that on your calculator, or you can also, also a lot of the times on standardized tests, you need to know what that value is to recognize it in an answer. So we need to be able to break that down. Well, we know that we're looking for perfect squares that are factors of 20. So I'm going to start factoring 20 into a factor tree. So I take 4 times 5, and then 2 times 2 times 2. So you want to get down to these prime factors, okay? I can see that I have two twos, therefore remember, 4 is a perfect square, and the square root of 4 is 2. So when you find a pair, it actually can come outside the radical, so I can take 2 square root 5. And the reason we do that is because 4 is a perfect square. So basically you're taking the square root of 4 times the square root of 5, and the square root of 4 comes out as 2. So that's the rationale as to why you have to find a pair because you're looking for perfect squares. Okay, so there's the square root of 20. Let's try another one of those just to give it another go. Okay, let's say you're taking the square root of 72. Okay, now you could factor this a couple different ways, but I'm just going to do 8 and 9. 8 times 9. Now 8 factors down to 4 and 2 and 9 factors down to 3 and 3, but 4 goes one more time to 2 and 2. So my prime factors are 2 times 2, bring this one down, times 2, times 3, times 3. So I actually have 5 factors down here. Now let's pair them up, okay? Remember we're looking for perfect squares, so there's one perfect square and there's another perfect square. So I'm going to take out a 3 and a 2. I don't take both of them out, I just take one, okay? So I take a 2 out, and I take a 3 outside the radical, and I leave the square root of 2 in. So I have 6 square roots of 2 as my final answer there. Now if you noticed, whoa, I think you can get all the way down there. Um, if you noticed, you could also take 6 and square it. Okay, to think about going backwards, 6 squared is 36, and 36 times 2 is 72. So just another way to kind of think through that. Okay, so you're, you're always looking for perfect square factors.